the above the line crew is the term that we use for the leadership of our team. The director of photography, the art director, the producer, the directors, the assistant directors, all of those people are the leaders on this production. They've done a fantastic job so far and have worked for months preparing us for this project so that when our students come in on day one, they are paired with an above the line crew member, a department head, that can walk them through this production because that above the line member has prepared for months and months and months to make this project a reality. We want to put him in a button up that we used before. Yes. Okay, how about the one with the pluses and stuff? Yeah, okay. that sounds good. Decisions, the mark of a true director. Making quick decisions that aren't going to damage the film. I'm not loft, so you probably can't hear me anyway. Never mind. Okay, today we have a special segment. Excuse me, what is it like being above the line? I am. We've run into an awkward situation. King, what's it, what, what's it like to be above the line? feels like above the line, you know? I agree. Christy, what's it like being above the line? As long as I'm living a life with easy, I'm happy. <laughs> Mr. Pasta, what's it like being above the line? It comes with a blessing and a curse. You can probably guess what they are. The blessing is you get to make really, really impactful decisions on the final project. And so it's satisfying that your creativity is, is, is cherished and, and used. Uh, the sucky part is the responsibility. But if those decisions are bad, it's your fault. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Hunter Forster. I'm one of the producers here on Flamingo Heist. The term above the line means that you are in charge. It means that you are in a position of responsibility to take care of people. It's a great position for any student to get a sense of responsibility and understand how a film set works. Not just the creativity side, but also the logistical side. I really would have to thank uh, Chase and Isabel for being phenomenal ADs. They really truly made sure that the set was running smoothly. My wife gave birth uh, to our son on July 19th and we were so excited to meet him, but that meant I had to step away from the production, but we were well prepared. Just the day before I was explaining to the crew during lunch exactly what would happen in the event that I have to step away, who would be in charge, and what was expected from the crew in that time, and I hear that they performed excellently in my absence. We are at Okahili Golf Course. Filming at the Palm Beach Zoo today. Today we're filming at the Dojo. Dude, we're going so fast. Boom, So Andrew, how hot are you right now? I'm sweating through my shirt, but I'm wearing black, so no one can <laughs> King shirt is just like, he's like drenched. Nine. Allison, anything to say about the flamingos? I'm pretty sure I can fit one in my costume bag, so. Roll camera. So I came back for our final three days of shooting. The last day was a great day, but a really hard one. I remember praying to God as I'm driving up to the shoot, saying, God, it would be awesome if just for our last day, everything could go according to plan. And it did not. Pizza, pizza. Cool. Manja, manja. Say salad. About to film our last three shots after our last lunch break on Flamingo Heights. Crazy. At the very end, we're trying to get the last shot, and it just starts raining, and I am furious. I'm so mad, and and um, not not doubting God. I'm just mad at him. Like 
come on, like, I just, I just had a kid. This has been such a stressful production. Not a single day of our project did everything go according to plan. And I couldn't even get our last shot off without something going wrong. I guess what I realized is if I'm ever to become a more patient person, it's not because I make a movie that teaches me patience, teaches me how to see it in a new way and work hard so that I'm a more patient guy. The only way I'll be more patient is if Jesus Christ mysteriously um, and, and powerfully changes my heart supernaturally and miraculously. And the sad thing is I've got to get back to work on Monday. Monday. Probably just cut to her seat at her desk, like yeah, audio yeah. link on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, everyone. Crew, listen up. That's a wrap on Flamingo Heist. Oh. Yeah. I think people should do the summer film because, I mean, not every school has this opportunity. In fact, no schools really have the opportunity to make a movie, let alone four movies by the time you graduate high school. Uh, but more importantly, I think you walk away with a family and a group of people that just know you and love you after you've suffered together through a South Florida summer producing a film. So I would say to any student out there who's curious if they should join or not, I would just ask them, do they want a family? Do they want to be known and do they want to be loved? And if the answer is yes, then I don't know what you're waiting for. What's it like editing the best movie that's ever been created? I'm editing Kung Fu Panda 2. This just in. Hey, Lena. What's it like being on set? Um, it's great. I love being here. It's my favorite part of the day. You're welcome. <laughs>